Bendy's here. Hello everyone. Welcome to Bendy and the Dark Revival. This game has been very out of the blue since the trailer was announced a few weeks ago. And it's finally here after years of waiting and radio silence. It's finally here. It is currently 3.05 a.m. and the game just came out. So I'm going to be one of the first people to actually play this after the game went live. So I'm not good with intros, so let's just get right into it. I need to, um, I need to, uh, do this. Um, like I'll, I'll do, um, I'll do all of that, like, later, if need be. Whoa, difficulty. Um, let's just do normal. I don't know if it's interchangeable, but we'll see what happens. I'm not going to be able to, uh, oh god, it's, it seems like it's slowing down. We're I'm not going to be able to. free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Oh, it's lagging just a little bit. Oh, God. But when you step back... That's Joey's apartment. you really look at where you've been and the things you've done... That's Joey's apartment. Your past will That's come. the door to the studio. To devour you. Huh. I am also excited. Thanks for the follow, by the way. This this game literally just came out like less than 10 minutes ago. June 18th, 1973. Yeah, I'm gonna have to address the quality because it seems like it's stuttering a little bit. I just wanna get out of this cutscene first. This is already- There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Yeah, I need Probably to, uh, some downstairs. I need to adjust it. This is already aesthetically um, different. Time for a little adventure. I need to... Uh... Whoa. Let me pause, please. Thank you. I need to um, do that. I don't think V-Sync needs to be that high, though. Okay. Okay. Oh god, it's still really laggy. Oh god. Hmm. Okay, nothing with that? Okay. Hmm. Okay, give me one second. Need to, um, see if I can adjust this anymore. Because I don't think those need to be on depth of field. I don't think I need to adjust anything with that. Okay, anything with this? No? Okay. Whoa, that actually scared me. Like, it's already completely different than, uh, than the first game. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything really interactable. Really? They locked me in? Good thing I brought my own key today. It's Archgate Pictures, so... It, um... Like, this is the, um... That's the studio that Allison Pendle was working at at the end of the. Who put this here? Hi. Like I'm very excited to see the uh, the real version of Bendy, or like the cartoon version instead of the Ink Demon. I'm wondering how that's going to um, pl like play out. I should mention that this game is. <sighs> Needs like 
very high graphics, and that is very loud. Jesus, let's turn that down. Okay, let's just turn it down to like there. Okay. Um. Yeah, this game is like very high end, and my uh, my gaming laptop is very low end. So if it if it's a bit laggy, I apologize. There's nothing really I can do about it. Like, the first game was fine, um, but this game is probably a lot more Not the most welcoming extensive. hallway I've ever seen. Okay, so who's doing all of this is my question. Autosave. It's, it's really bizarre to have an autosave Hello? in a Bendy game. Is someone there? Someone's playing tricks on your mind. Like fish in a bowl. Or whatever. This can only go wrong so quickly. Hmm. Another auto save. It's very picky on the hitboxes. Yeah. Jesus, that actually scared me. Hi, Wilson. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. This already Mind reminds me of Bioshock. Step in. Uh, no. Uh, of course not. Thank no. you. No. no. Audrey, you look like you could use a little company. Like, the first game reminded me a lot of Bioshock, but this game definitely does. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. What no, he, he's very, um, Please creepy. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in the system. You just Happening misunderstood. These past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, you're walking very slowly, but okay. I was just about to venture into the darkness because I thought it maybe I had a flashlight. Unless he's not gonna do anything. Okay, I guess I do have to venture off into the darkness. Or not, okay. Ah, uh, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Follow Wilson. Problem is, he's very slow. He looks like a janitor. Is this like... Like Wally Franks' like long-lost brother or something? Like, is it just me or does he look like a janitor? Like... Like the creepy janitor that's like very cliche in horror movies. It's like, oh, the janitor is actually the murderer or whatever. Oh yeah, probably. I bet he's um jealous of like the amount of uh, attention she gets compared to him. Press E to talk. You just interact with him and then he walks away. It's like, great talk. Oh, it's the ink machine. Huh. 
Okay, that that just seems out of the blue. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Oh, here we go. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. What? I'll tend to the power. Why did that... Why did that scene from the trailer play out this early on? I thought that was going to play it like an, an earlier, like a later on factor. It's like, maybe it's like, hey, Audrey, like, how you doing? It's like after, like, you, like, become, like, the, uh, the Inkified version. Okay, so I have a wrench now, which is probably going to be like a weapon of some sort okay i can't go back there okay so i have to find items unsure i think he just said i need to find items for the thing maybe i have to like interact with the pedestals or something wait where did he go oh there he is hmm I have a wrench now, so I don't know what to use it on. I don't think it ever said. Oh, there we go. Cog. That was from the first game. Okay. Do I need to find multiple? Yep. These are all the items from the first game. So I need to find a, like a bottle of ink, probably. I need to find a record. So I have four items so far. I need to find like an ink bottle or whatever. It's right here. With the quality down, it doesn't look all that great, but oh well. I'm just here for the lore, man. Just here to have a good time. Joey Drew is like a character that I'm not really like fond of. It's like... He just seems like a Walt Disney ripoff, and that's not really interesting of me. Or to me, I should say. Okay, so I have a wrench, record, cog, ink. What, what was the last item? I forget. I don't remember what it is. Book. Thank you. Where would the book be? Yeah, it's stuttering on. A book is here. The illusion of living. Yeah, with the quality turned down, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. And it bothers me. But I have the very like minimum this game requires to play this. Here we go. Is Bendy gonna show up immediately like in the first game? I wonder. Oh, how convenient that you're done as soon as I place the last item. How convenient. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. Here we go. It is done. Wilson? Oh, uh -oh. Trees. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Is Wilson bending? Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, yeah, Audrey. Yeah, like... Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find. Find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now, here we go. 
dome. We die. What are you doing? Yeah, I had a feeling that it was going to be a bad guy based on the trailer. Like, he was ever-present in the trailer. It's like, it's been like 211 days since the Ink Demon was around or whatever. off to a great start I don't know if my computer is gonna be able to handle it or not please don't freeze game thank you I have hands. Oh, Audrey. What's happened to you? Is it just me? Hold on one second. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal, is it Joey Drew? I was gonna say, is it just me or does the ink people that are like, like inky, they look like how do I phrase this? I guess, like, deformed in a way. Because it's like, when, you, like, if you look at the trailer, for example, it's like Allison, or like good Alice, she looked very, like, different than her, like, original version. That just might be me looking into it too much, but that's just how I see it. Just it look she looks weird in the trailers, so I don't know if that's just because it's different or if they got deformed in the process. I don't know. Relax, the man who killed the ink demon, Wilson knows your purpose. Am I supposed to touch the ink? Because Alice said that if you touch the ink it's like a drop in the ocean or whatever. I hear someone crying. Who's Bendy? Okay, so where does this want me to go? Okay, where does this want me to go? Hmm. Did I miss something? I have no idea. Oh, I jump. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder. I'm dumb. I didn't realize I um, had those. There we go. For some reason I didn't see the ladder. That's that's my fault. I'm very unaware when it comes to games. It's like, oh, where do I go? Oh, it's right in front of me. Music box. Of course it's a music box. This, this implies that Allison's gonna show up immediately, right? Jeez, you think I was drowning drawing You think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills and the bank take the goodies back. Still it doesn't it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change. Life moves on. Telly Wester. That is 100% like Wally Franks is like long lost cousin. 
it it's weird that it's C to crouch. Here's the trailer the dialogue. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger. A young lady. Bring her to me. I like how it's like, um, Wilson's like, oh, find me, Audrey. And then he's like, hey, can you guys find her for me and bring her to me? Uh, I don't want her to come by herself. Joey, Jack and I, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. We have been with you for many years and we feel... We feel we have con contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy. Hmm. Okay. It's like, um... Hi, Bendy. Okay, gen part. Okay, so there are, like, upgrades. God, lag. So there are upgrades. It's interesting that there's characters showing up from the first game, but there's also new characters, so I don't know how much they're going to intertwine with each other. Please go. Thank you. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close. So very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. I don't like that. I feel like I'm getting... I feel like I'm getting close to a first encounter. I was expecting it, but it still got me. Hi, buddy. Why was that guy just lodged in the vent is my question. I would make a particular reference, but I'm not going to. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. God dang it. That, that's my bad. Really? I, I can't? The there call. we go. Joey Drew is dead. What a what? quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? I am shocked that not even 30 minutes in, we already have a revelation that Joey Drew is dead in this game. Really, that's surprising to me. Okay, so where does this want me to go? Oh, up here. I should probably follow the indicator. That would probably help. Okay, so it wants me to go to the right. Wait, left shift to run? Oh, I just saw... I just saw uh, a guy walking past. Okay. Like, I don't know if you saw, but there was a, there was a hand going past here. I think I was supposed to see it after I pulled it, but I wasn't looking. Jesus. Like, I'm already, like, spooked. This seems like the heavenly toys. Yep. 
It's like I remember this in particular, like this fork in the road. I remember that. Heavenly Toys. Am I gonna meet Alice, like, back here? Am I gonna see, uh, Jack's tape? Or another tape, that is? Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, it wants me to get up there. Oh, I can't actually get in there. Okay. Oh, Jesus! I remember that from the trailer, so it didn't get me. I knew it was coming. But you can hear Alice. Is it safe to come out? It feels like the Butcher Gang member just went off like two steps. It's like, I'm gonna wait. Bide my time. Okay, I guess he's gone. Low on health? Grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you are low on health, you will need to eat. Loco locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. Where did he go? Okay, maybe he went that way. Okay. <gasps> bacon soup! Briar label bacon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. <gasps> it helps patch you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. Doesn't she but look like pretty just lucky. born? The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Same. Searchers don't have legs and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A uh, wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Really? Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? It might just be well, because of the lag, but it seems him. very, like, he out of sync. Smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. What? Okay, several questions. Chapter one, Drawn to Darkness. Several questions. One, she's like, she just appeared to give us like a little like tidbit of information and then she just disappears. What? I, th I thought she was going to be more helpful than that. Two, apparently Tom is in this universe. So that, that's interesting. And three, where did she go? Oh, maybe that was already always close. But where did the Piper go? He just like walked away like over here and then he disappeared. Huh. Okay, let's look over here. To be fair, she, ju she did just like appear out of nowhere in chapter 4 of the first game. So it doesn't surprise me that she disappeared, but I'm just curious on where she actually went. 
because if um, if you took a no clip tool in the first game of, and you looked in chapter 4 she just rises out of the ground but there's no excuse here because there's no like ink blot on the ground or anything like there was in that game very peculiar around here it's just best to stay out of sight don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Hmm. Okay, so which way does this want me to go? It wants me to go the other way, so I'm gonna go this way first. Wait, does it? Or does this want me to go? There's no indicator. Um, okay, I feel like that's the way forward, so I'm going to go this way. Okay, so there's a stamina meter. That's good to know. Oh, I understand that they want to be more of a, like, survival experience. But I feel like having to, like, heal and whatnot is kind of weird. Especially in the first game when Bacon Soup did absolutely nothing except for like as like collectibles. Okay, close that. Okay, nothing in there. Up, oh, here we go. Really not gonna say, oh, what's wrong with me? You're just like, okay, guess this is happening now. Okay, where is the toy man? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys. Hold on, I'm going to um do this so so there's a uh, yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys subtitles. Kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Uh, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so I don't forget it. 451. Right. The code is 451. 451. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? That voice sounds very familiar, but I can't put my, like finger on it I have an inkling suspicion oh I need to actually uh, do this so it was four five one I don't remember nope okay so only goes up to there we go Wonder where the um Wait, what else was there? Oh another gem part, I'll take it. I wonder where Bad Alice or like twisted Alice is gonna come into play. Okay, do that. Stop. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning. When the delivery boys dropped one of the crates, it smashed open, and in 
inside, there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Mm. Secrets that could be mine. Interesting. So, they were delivering the ink machine that Joey took from Tom or Thomas Connor. And he wanted to steal the secrets for himself. I wonder if he killed jo Joey so he could take like control of the studio. That would be a good twist. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on that and say that that's what happened. Maybe. He sees everything. All seeing eyes, cool, cool. Anything in here? Turn around. Why? Why Wilson knows. I did say turn around, right? I'm not crazy. Wait, was there anything else down here? I did say turn around, right? I'm not crazy. I think I might be crazy. I have no idea where I'm going. There's Bendy. Jeez, that shadow scared me. Okay, so where am I supposed to go exactly? What is my objective? Get to the upper studios. There's not really like an indicator of where I need to go. Maybe I need to go back this way? No. Hmm. I, I must have missed something back that way. It's weird that it said... I'm pretty sure it said turn around and then I turned around and then I turned around again and it said Wilson knows. Like it's Okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see If I can bind Really I can't bind The uh Controls to uh Make control be crouch That is A bizarre Like design choice but okay So Wilson knows Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to go this way. I'm dumb. How did I miss this completely? <laughs> Hi. Okay, that it wants me to go that way. Can I actually, like, go up here? Maybe, like, hear... No, I can't hear the, um, uh, fissure. Okay. I bet those fall damage, so I'm not going to do anything with that. It's bizarre having to press C for that. Uh-oh, that's... Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Where? Where do these characters go? 
Oh, through there, probably. Hold on. Wanna... Wanna be sure I'm not missing anything. Wasn't there... Yeah, there was this. What is this? Bold choice. Um, select upgrade. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with health first. Okay. I don't know why her first instinct was like, I'm going to punch through this. Especially since this is all new to her. Okay. It's a good thing I, like, looked around. Otherwise, I would have missed that. Okay, I can't get through there. Okay. So I think I need to make my way back to, uh... Back to the, uh, place. That way is down the other way. Still bizarre having to press C. Like, I'm so used to pressing control to, uh... To crouch. It's a really bizarre game development move. Wait, is this not? I thought that was gonna open. Apparently not. Hmm. I thought it wanted me to go all the way back over here. Unless it's down there. Where was maintenance? I'm so confused. I don't know where maintenance is. Is maintenance over there? Hold on, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back down here real quick. Okay, can't clock in. Okay, so nothing with that. Did I miss something again? I probably missed something again. Maybe now I need to go the other way. Maybe I, now I need to go this way. Okay, so I have to do this. I was gonna say, why are you not going down? Where do I go? Okay, not there. There had to be like a door or something that I just completely missed. Employee lockers. Oh, well, maintenance is here. Are you kidding me? I thought I interacted with this and it didn't say anything. Okay, let go, please. Thank you. I'm dumb. As always. The guy. I literally jumped on the thing I was supposed to move. Got a bad feeling about this. This looks like the, uh, the thing where it's like, there's a guy behind you or something. This doesn't seem ominous at all. There's a piper right there. Wait, is that a piper? I I forget what it is. It's the piper, the fisher, and the striker. I don't remember which one this is, though. I'm pretty sure that's the striker. Okay, I can save the game at any point. Okay. So... How do I do that? Oh, like that? Okay. 
That's good to know. That kind of sucks. Yeah, Piper, Striker, and Fisher. It took me a second to remember. It's been a while since I last played the last game. Like, I'm kind of disappointed that the um, that they just resorted to like, oh, you can save at any time. Because I actually like the clock-in system that they implemented in the in the first game. I don't know. That's just me, though. I feel like it was a good system to be um, had. Okay, so which way do I go? I can either go to the animation department or I can go to the employee lounge. Little devil lounge. Daily buffet. Uh, 89 cents, no change. Please pay cashier first. Please wait to be seated. How about no? I have places to be. Wait, what? Oh, eat. Okay, I don't need to eat anything. I do need jet parts, though, if you would like to be ever so kind. Please stop lagging. Yeah. I feel like the... Like, the real names are... Like, kind of pointless, just because... Like, there's copies of them, so it's like... One, like... One uh, character can have a consciousness, but the next can't, if you know what I mean. Okay, I got a gent battery casing. I don't know. That's just my thought process behind it. Okay, I can't get through there. Okay, so uh, that was just the door. I was going to say, what was that? Okay. So I can hide in there. Okay. Like, I'm not looking forward to the first combat experience because I feel like that's going to be really challenging when I get... Without a weapon, that is. Because I feel like I'm encountering a lot of enemies. But I don't have a weapon yet. Animation Alley. Let's say studio tour entrance. Okay, so it wants me to uh, open that first. I'm going to look around first. Okay. Another battery. Cool, cool. Another part. Another part. Please stop. Oh, it looked like there was a... Um, this was a weapon I could take. Like a wrench or something. Or like a hammer. Okay. Please stop. Oh, secrets. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fool the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now I can't remember the last time I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere, probably costing the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Hmm... Okay, so those are probably gonna be come that those are probably gonna come in handy. Um, I don't know for what, but they're gonna come in handy. Also, I don't know what these parts are for. I know they're for upgrading, but I don't know what the batteries are for exactly. Another uh, miracle station. Okay, can't do anything with that. Looks like he's having a bad day. Demon follower. Okay. Okay, door is locked. Okay, you could just say the door is locked, but okay. Just let me, like, interact with it like a ton. God, I'm so creeped out. Like, this, this game is already, like, a billion times scarier than... 
the first Bendy what, game. Again? Because there wasn't really many scares. Break the lock. Okay. I feel like I was supposed to go over here first. Or over there first, I should say. Okay, so I need to break the lock. Maybe, maybe that's when I grab the thing. I don't... I don't want to run just so I don't make, like, any unnecessary noise. Maybe now I take this? No? Hmm. Okay. I know you're out there. Please answer me. Oh, hi, Alice. Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Uh-oh. Now. Oh, God. Wait, what? Okay. Where's the gent pipe? I don't know. I thought this was the gent pipe, but it's not. Unsure. Maybe now I go this way? Up there, there's an indicator. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Really? This feels like a, a ton of steps to uh, get one singular item. Okay, so how do I turn on the lights? I don't know. Plus, I, I think that little bar at the bottom means like I'm low on health. The best way to avoid trouble is not to be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away fast. I hate, hate, hate stealth in video games. Nope, 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 nope. I'm a coward. I don't know if he's going to turn around and go back the other way. Or if he's just going to stand there. I don't really want to risk it. I need to know how, we, how these guys work. So I'll give it a second just to make sure he doesn't turn around or anything. Okay, it seems like he's staying there for now. Watch me, like, as soon as I, like, leave here, he's gonna turn around and see me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Missing a fuse. 
Of course. Let's see if I can find one. Because of course I'm missing a fuse. Seems like very unnecessary steps to actually get a singular, a singular like step done. Is this the fuse? No, he just took it with him. Oh God. Oh, it's back that way, okay. I don't know where the next guy is. Oh, now I go over here. Kitchen's closed. Okay. Really, though? God. Okay. Oh God. Move, move, move. Really? That's dumb. Garbage. Like, I'm nearly dead. Let's see if I can save it. So, where does he go? Does he turn this way again? Oh, okay. Okay. You don't see me. Like I'm literally on the edge of death here. I don't, I can't see him. Oh, now he's moving back that way. God dang it. Like, if only he went back, like, that way. Instead of, like, circling around, like, this one area where it's like, I had to go around the table. What what popped out over there is my question. Was it one of the uh, Butcher Gang members? I was unsure. I took way too many hits. Back in. I got some health. I don't know his walk patterns here.
town. Well, happy birthday to me. Okay, get up, please. Can I not go in here? Uh oh. No, I'm stuck. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't cry for me. I want to die. Like, I need a weapon of some kind. I know I get one eventually, I just don't know when. How do I get in there? Okay, I think I'm gonna get into this one. Just so I know that there's no other guys around. Okay. Unless he went in here, which would be a dick move. Gent pipe. That's that's a dick move, and you know it is. Like, really? Really, you have to come all the way over to where I was. Really? Dumb. Okay. Okay, close that. Okay, gen parts, I'll take it. Wait, was there? Yeah, there is. I was gonna say. Okay. That up. Uh, hiding treasure. At Kaylee. the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Oh god, I can't believe I just said that. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. So behind the posters are secrets? The machine must endure. Lots of goodies. I feel like there's gonna be uh, an encounter soon. Okay, that's locked. Set this before I do anything. Please stop. Another battery. We're playing with fire, no question about it. First, Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Joy opens up the place for tours to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was giving a tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, thinking it was part of the show. I know Joey is looking to drum up some cash lately, but this is, this, this is just asking for disaster to strike. One good accident, and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. 
I like how they uh, called back to chapter two of the first game, where it's like, oh, the f pipes are always flooding the place. Okay, before I take that and move the story forward, I'm gonna make sure I have all the items. What does it say? The dark puddles are calling. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Okay. Grab it. Don't come to life now. At least now I can defend myself. Good. Gent Pipe, a weapon of many uses, your all-in-one tool for surviving many dangers. The Gent Pipe also has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press to attack enemies and break objects. Okay, that's good to know. Now I have a way to defend myself. I don't know if you are. I'm actually scared. Are you gonna fade away into the inkiness or are you just gonna glitch out like that? You scared me, but that was really funny. Just like, uh, jiggle physics. I saw you. Okay, apparently I can't kill these guys. Well, I'm almost dead. Interesting. Okay, I don't need to hide. Okay. Okay, where does this want me to go? That's one death, so that's great. Screaming well of voices. Take this. Wait, what? I was able to take that. Are those collectibles? I was trying to eat the bacon soup, but apparently that's not a thing. What does that say? You don't have to kill me. Is this a moral system? The powers of the ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also restores a portion of your health. Cool. It's actually really terrifying. That feels like a fate worse than death. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can't do anything with that. 
I want to get to the next like cutscene and then I'll call the stream for now because I don't have much time this morning. Okay, I'm not doing anything with that unless I have to. That's one of the things I definitely won't make. It figures that the uh, the pathway is blocked. Okay, how do I get in there? fight those guys if I'm even able to because it seems like they just disappear after a while I have no idea how those guys work they need to explain it just a little bit better hold on okay Okay. So. Oh, I keep forgetting how I can move this stuff. Okay, let's move it the other way. I feel like this will be a lot more simple if I do this. Wait, can I? No, I have to move it the other way. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Like, the puzzles in this game are very, uh... Like, they're simple, but I'm just dumb. I feel like they can be explained just a little bit easier, but that's just me. Beep, 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 beep. Here comes the gang. Okay. I do like how they're like differentiated. Are they just going to keep on coming? Whoa. Okay. I want that um that particular enemy to come back and like crouch down here so I can banish them but I don't know where they went they went back that way up here they come the reason why I want to um, banish is to get health I'm pretty sure they're on their way back. Yes, they are. Okay. Cry for me. I want to die. That is horrifying. 
That is a fate worse than death. I would not wish that upon anyone. Okay, that's everyone. I feel like our initial encounter with Bendy is gonna come down like way, 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 way down the line. Okay, main studio. Okay. Okay, I can't get through there. Studio tour? Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew, and our story begins quite literally in one of our many writers rooms just like this one that's right all your favorite bendy cartoons are born right here we circle up our chairs crack open a cold drink and toss around dozens of story possibilities there's no bad ideas here we've all got something we can bring to the scripts i myself have been known to spend a lot of time down here in my own brand of Joey Drew magic. It's my job to push the envelope with my big creative touches, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. Hold on one second. The subtitles on? Yes, they are. Okay. You'll always hear I don't know why there's no subtitles for this. When it's complete, the script finds its way to our many artists in the art department. You'll be seeing our real Joey Drew Studios team hard at work on our tour of Animation Alley very shortly. But right here, you can see a typical office where characters are being lovingly crafted with very careful attention to details. I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their magic. It's my job to catch the little things that make our cartoons really extra special. If I see one of Benny's gloves is missing his signature two dots, I make sure I tell someone. That Joey Drew, they like to say, what a keen eye. Over time, the cartoon is slowly created frame by frame. Benny begins to walk and dance. It's really quite fantastic. Before long, we have our finished cartoon, all ready for the boys in the sound department to take over. Okay, there's probably a thing on the other side. Okay. I was going to say, are you going to keep going? That C is believing, but I think the fine folks down in the audio department might disagree. Once a cartoon's animation is finished, it's ready for all the sound to be added. From music and voices to outrageous sound effects, they do it all. It's no wonder people say Joey Drew Studios has the most impressive talent in the world. Okay, there's several things. One, I like all the mannequins with the ties. It looks very uh, spiffy. Um, but two, I like how they uh, there was a glitch out in the audio regarding the uh, the voice actress of like like Alison Pendle. It's like it's a very 
like weird nod i guess to what happened with the first game okay what does this want from me i feel like it was supposed to open but it didn't hello unless there's something i missed i don't want to do that again Hello? Um. Okay. I feel like this was supposed to open, but it didn't. Hello? Hello? Um. I'm confused. Did I, did I just bug it out? I guess I have to listen to this again. Now both of them are going at the same time, but I don't know how to get forward. Oh, okay. gonna be a cheap jump scare no okay oh tons of goodies tons of goodies we're in the final days here i can tell people are packing things into boxes tools are going missing you can smell the panic in the air around the studio but us gent boys we're just wa watching from the shadows we lock the doors and keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. Okay. Oh. That explains a lot. Okay. So I didn't need to listen to this again. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't like wait around. And I just looked around. When is Bendy going to show up is my question. Either version. There. <gasps> He's right there. You see him? Please don't. Please don't be like a decoy or anything. Where it's like. Oh like. He's cute, but then he turns into the ink demon. It's like, please don't do that to me. Are you gonna have a voice? Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know uh -oh. I promise. I'm so, so sorry. Damn it, Audrey. What's happening to you? Interesting. Unfortunately, I'm out of time um, because I need to go get ready for work because it's currently 4.30 a.m. and I need to prepare for the day. So I'm going to call it there for now. This is getting very interesting. Like, I'm very curious on where this game is going because this game has spooked me a lot more than it has the very first time I played Bendy and the Ink Machine. I think the developers learned a lot over the years. And they're putting their full potential into good use here. So I'm very excited to see what happens. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next